Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and unbox uh, Huawei Mate 10 Pro phone, which looks pretty nice indeed. It's just been released here uh, in the UK, and I wanted to check it out, see what it brings to the table. Uh, this uh, is coming in with uh, AI technology for the processor, uh, dual camera, uh, Leica branded, uh, as well as some nice specs all around, bezel-less display, uh, which uh, you know is quite uh, familiar now. I think we're getting 6 gigs of RAM and Kirin 970. Uh, which should be a very fast processor. Uh, so we're just going to unbox here and have a look at the uh, device. And it's been a while since we looked at a high-end Huawei phone. You can see. And we're going to lift it up. So very uh, nice classy presentation. Uh, they always make a really nice uh, box here, uh, which uh, is nice to see. And this is the device, and you can see all screen pretty much with the dual camera on the back. Very sassy, is what I'd call it. Uh, so we're just going to put this aside and see what else you get. So here we do have some compartments, and I'm assuming it is a fast charger here, Huawei's own, or so I say Huawei, I always call them Huawei for some reason, but uh, this is the supercharged technology as you can see, which is nice, and also your Type-C cable, they're giving you some earphones here, nice to see, they look pretty decent as well. And uh, an adapter here, don't forget we're getting a headphone jack. And normal stuff, as well as a very nice case to keep the device protected here. I think most, most manufacturers actually use the cases now. So that is quite nice in the box, I've noticed. So we just pull that to the side and get, oh, we do have some other stuff as well, let's not forget your warranty card and stuff uh, so that's uh, keeping you safe I think the standard warranty is 24 months where I am so very generous uh, if anything does go wrong and this is the phone here as you can see very nice shiny back uh, you know go, go and give it to Huawei here they do definitely change up the design with the Mate phone because it seems to come with metal one year and then a shiny design the next year uh, so let's just get the front and off screen protectors, uh, which is very difficult actually without any nails. There we go. So big expansive display here. I think we have a special term for it, but uh, they all pretty much look the same nowadays in terms of the bezel-less display. So as you saw before, no headphone jack unfortunately. But uh, you know, Bluetooth APTX HD is supported, so that's pretty decent in terms of sound quality. And let's start it up. I said, uh, let's start it up. Oh dear, I don't think this has happened for a while. So, did he forget to charge it before sending it to me? Come on, what way? You can do better than that. You see, it was bound to happen again eventually. So that uh, is pretty annoying. We've got to charge it up now before starting it up. Well, at least we're going to see how the supercharged does work. So I'm just uh, getting the plug here, as you can see. So this is their own branded charger. I'm going to put this in. Or my heart will really start racing then. <laughs> Is it going to come on? So it's just. Uh... <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Seriously. Seriously, Huawei. You sent me a dead phone. 
for Christmas. That's not very nice. I mean, honestly, I've got it plugged in here. I've got it plugged in and it's not, I don't see any life. This is definitely the power button because, you know, this is going to drive you mad. This isn't a cheap phone, you know, it did spend like 700 euro on this. And you can see, nothing. A dead fawn. I don't think this has ever happened on the history of this uh, community tech channel. Wow. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Let me just try a different plug. It could be my uh, adapter. Any life? Oh, I saw a light then. I saw a little light flashing at the top here. Can you see that? This looks like a red light. Maybe there's some life. Oh, I think we've got life at last. So maybe it was one of my plugs not working. Let's uh, see if we can boot it up here. Can we boot it up? Can we rescue the unboxing video? But seriously, you know, that is pretty unprofessional, I've got to say. Sending your phone with the draining battery. Can we boot it up? Oh, I heard something. Wow. So it's still flashing with the red light. Uh, let's just uh, give it two minutes or so to get some juice and then we'll resume the video. Pretty crazy, gotta say. I think we have some life at last. So we have caught it here as it's booting up, which is nice. Finally, 10 years later, Huawei decided to boot up. Thought we had the world first there, the dead phone on arrival. Well, hopefully the actual experience will be pretty good. You know, I'm looking forward to, I think uh, this is like a 2K AMOLED display as well, which is the first for the high end. Well, it's not first actually, but usually the Mate series has a terrible display. So we can just go through this nice and fast. And uh, so you can see some nice stuff here. Oh, oh, wow, that's annoying. I mean, seriously, can't even get enough juice to go through the setup process. So obviously the charging isn't as good as what OnePlus is offering here if you can't go through the setup process on some juice. So I think I'm going to have to leave this for about five minutes or so because it's going to be a big faff with its, uh, you know, what's it doing now? Strange, crazy phone. Maybe the AI is going mad here. Hey guys, so I've waited uh, about ten minutes or so. I've kind of lost the plot of what I was talking about, but uh, we're going to try again here. We have 12% uh, battery. Fun and games. So, it's really peculiar because the, the Mate 10 Pro has one of the biggest batteries on the market. Part of the reason why I bought it actually, 4000 mAh. But, uh, you know, you can see here, it can still discharge even though the phone is off. So, let's try again. Hopefully, we can stop it from moving as well by itself. Let me just get the wire. There we go. So, let's zoom in. Maybe third time lucky here. Uh, so we do have some uh, sets up as you can see. Skip. 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 Oh, you have a cloud feature, which is nice. So you have the uh, fingerprint. display so you can see we're going to turn this off and uh, wow that is a nice display I'm almost forgetting the subtle process already uh, so let's uh, just see if we can disconnect it from the charger should have some juice now uh, but obviously we need low battery 
so as I said before, we are getting OLED now display, and it definitely does show here with much better in terms of viewing angles. Uh, not the most colourful background, so let's just see if we can change that. There we go. That looks nice. Very nice indeed. So let's look at the speed here. Everything seems to open nice and snappy. Wow. That uh, is very fast. Are we running Oreo? Let's go into the settings. So EMUI 8. And uh, yes, you can see nice and up to date. Props to Huawei for that. Hopefully they carry on keeping it up to date. Android patch level October. So not too bad there. Uh, do we get any themes here? So look at this one. So, do they have a, uh, a stock one with this one? So try this one. Oh, that was nice. And uh, what else do we have? We do have, do we have any access to the AI? Or is it just marketing? AI? No. Probably runs in the background and, uh, you know, Manages stuff like the battery, etc. Didn't really manage it very well starting up, but uh, you know, hopefully going forward, it'd be pretty good. Uh, we're just going to look at the camera as well and round the video off. Whoops. So let's uh, just go back here. Uh, so I'm thinking you're getting all the same good stuff that you did before in regards to the, you know, uh, monochrome. So yeah, you can see it's still got the monochrome here. It takes a shot nice and fast. I think uh, according to the camera review site, it got just below the pixel for the camera. So very strong in regards to that. Take off the monochrome. And this is the portrait. So if we just do this in a weird angle, You can see a little bit of blur effect there in the background. I prefer natural bokeh, but you know it's good for those who do like the portrait mode. Uh, video, do we have 60 frames per second, 4K? That would be pretty nice. It's just, uh, where is the settings here? There we go. So it looks like we have full HD, but not 4K, 60 frames per second. Maybe they can update it in future to add that. Uh, so nice, uh, lots of settings here in terms of the video. Uh, so I think uh, Huawei's camera app is one which I actually quite like. I think it's quite uh, easy to use. And uh, we do have this wide aperture mode as well. What's the difference between wide aperture and the portrait mode? This one seems to be causing a blur effect as well. I'll probably have to look into that. Uh, but nice uh, looking camera experience here, definitely a reason to buy the phone. Uh, I've been getting, as I said, uh, one of the best camera setups on the market right now. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little unboxing first look of uh, Huawei, Mate, uh, Huawei Mate 10 Pro. I need to staple that name to my desk so I remember it. Uh, and uh, we got there in the end. Hope you enjoyed the video, find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.